Yo, what's up guys? Anything happened today? Other than getting hammered again today? Holy smokes, I had to bring up the Kmart ad for the blue light special. Some of you guys have been with me for a while. Remember, I went over that blue light special video. That was back when this thing was probably 11, 12 bucks. Remember they went on sale? We probably dipped down a couple bucks or whatever. Holy smokes, hammered again today. I tell you what, I've seen a lot of people buying today. Telling, hey, I bought this X amount, this amount. These guys are in deep doo-doo. I mean, the lower this goes, I bought 60 more shares today. I wasn't even going to buy any more. But these are, it's a flash fire blue light special. Buy them. If this thing continues to dip down, I got to buy more. And I know all of you guys are thinking the same thing. But those guys, they're smart enough to go, okay, Jesus, I'm going to bring this down to X amount of dollars. Let's just say we go to 35. All we're going to do is buy them all up. You know, we're I we're probably at 90%. We own 90% of that float. I think that's probably a safe number. Call it 85. We know it's 80, whatever it is. This thing goes down anymore with the amount of madness that is out there the last two months, month and a half with all these new people coming in. We touched on this too. All the YouTubers, the big YouTubers that were not talking about this, the media, etc. They, either way, they're in deep doo-doo. Drop this thing down, and we're going to gobble these things up like Pac-Man. We're just going to gobble them some bitches up. So, yeah, there's our Kmart Blue Light Special. Love you, Kmart. Glad to work there. You, you, that was I grew up in that damn store with those ICs, the icy machine back there. God, and they had mashed potatoes. The Kmart that I had had mashed potatoes. You can get a bowl of mashed potatoes with gravy for 60 cents. And I had a discount at the time. I paid probably 45 cents. For a nice hot bowl of mashed spuds? Mmm, my God. Okay, enough of that nonsense. Okay, Dark Pool Madness. I think we busted the record today. 69% of the total volume today was Dark Pool. Peeing in the Dark Pool. Dark Pool Trades report for AMC have accounted for 69% of the total volume today. Over the past 20 days, the average Dark Pool volume has been 61%. The last 20 days, I'll repeat that, the average dark pool volume is 61%. Total volume in the dark pools is 35.5 million. Remember that's today. The VWAP price for the only dark pool trades is 43.66. TRF trades for AMC are reported by dark pools for trading reporting facilities and represent activity away from the mainstream or lit exchanges. Yeah, no kidding. Good night. Um, and then another, I got some other couple pieces of good, big news here that I, I think is big news. Um, we'll touch on a couple things I didn't see today. One of them, um, this here, um, remember old Credit Suisse, they were in, uh, involved in that old uh, Archegos debacle. Look at this, uh, this gal that's been here since 2005. Um, what was her title? Compliance, I think. Uh, the failure of Archegos Capital Management led to a $5.5 billion loss. The compliance chief, that's what she was, compliance chief, I'm sorry, uh, of Credit Suisse Group's AG Swiss banking arm has stepped down, creating another vacancy in the bank's compliance function in the wake of a fallout over loss tied to the meltdown of Archegos. The head of compliance at Swiss Universal has decided to leave the bank effective immediately, as in right now, see you later. Wonder what the heck happened there. Her departure comes at a time the bank is reeling. Yeah, we already read that. Okay, so yeah. Um, hello. Remember, every other week we got somebody stepping down, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, who knows? Something's happening. Um, this one, here's the, another big news of the day. I'm a little late to the party in this one. I'm sure you guys have seen this. But AMOM, an exchange trading fund driven by artificial intelligence. Ooh, that's fancy has sold a majority of its holdings in Facebook and Walmart and it loaded the boat on AMC. That's pretty big news. If they're selling Facebook and Walmart to load the boat on AMC, that is outstanding. The other one I like too here, these guys are masters it looks like in the predicting the Tesla, but the fund has a histor history of accurately predicting the price movement of electric vehicle maker Tesla. Hey, you guys see something? because we certainly do. So welcome aboard, guys. Welcome aboard. Um, and then this too. You know my obsession. I can't go a video without talking uh, about Citadel. This article is from 2008. Remember 2008? Market crash. Citadel 
down 47% through November, okay? Can Citadel Investment Group LLC withstand a 47% year-to-date drop uh, of its two biggest funds? Can any hedge fund recover from the near 50% drop, especially in this environment? We're about to find out. Bloomberg.com reported earlier today that Citadel's two biggest funds suffered an additional 13% loss in November, bringing the year-to-date total to staggering 47%. These losses came in Citadel's two biggest funds. Kenny G is one of the most revered and respected head fund managers in the industry, but that likely isn't going to help him much if the crushing environment for hedge funds. Investors have asked to withdraw at least 10% of the assets in Citadel's two biggest funds by the end of the year. I can't imagine that the heavy losses suffered in October and November are going to soothe rattle investors either. Now, where I'm going with this is, did they learn their lesson back then? These guys are super ballsy and risky, and they're the elite of the elite. I have got an obsession with these dudes on just how savage they are, and you talk about walking a line of criminal, and, well, we know probably a lot of it's criminal, but, but just savagery but did they learn their lesson then did i i don't think so you know the, the i think kenny g has got the probably the biggest ego in the entire planet and for a lot of reasons he should he's 30 plus years and started this hedge fund and it's a, a monster behemoth you know but yeah i found that pretty crazy so we're about to soon find out there mr kenny g um this son of a gun here Peter Hand, you guys seen this out there? I think it, somebody ran across this probably a few hours ago, but this is a well-read, put-together article. It is on LinkedIn, right? So I took a look at this dude uh, writing this here, but yeah, he looks obviously legit. Got all his work experience in here, tons of experience, 25 years in the banking industry, part of TD, Ameritrade down there, Bank of Canada, blah, 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 all sorts of college degrees and all that. But... He put together this little son of a gun here. Short comment on AMC shorts managed to get AMC off the NYSE threshold list last Friday. Not clear exactly how this was done, but looks like the exposure converted from fails to deliver FTD to outright naked shorts and then packaged into the ETF, IWM ETF. Um, remember Charlie in the videos, if you guys haven't checked him out, get over there. That guy is outstanding. He fires together about 3,500 videos a day, it seems like. But he touched on uh, something similar to this today, too. So get over there, check him out. So I'm really not going to waste more brain power on this. Citadel is a market maker, and between them and their short friend, Virtue, control 80% of retail orders. 80% of retail orders, gang. Oh, Jesus. They can more or less dictate price or slow volume on slow volume days. Jesus. Allegations of buy orders being delayed as much as 35 days through Citadel data flow. How likely is that? Hard to verify and audit, but it's true the dark pool trading accounted for 65% of the volume in the last five trading days, over 50% over the last month. Good night. Meanwhile, retail orders continue to be overwhelmingly buy orientated. Orientated. The only selling is coming from shorts using the dark pool. We just touched on that 70 frickin' percent to mute buying pressure. The short ladder attacks from last week seem to be shifted to a numb inducing slow drip lower. Yeah, we see that, sir. The degree of over manipulation is mind blowing. I am told Citadel employs a team of psych PhDs to design price moves designed to drive retail investor interest away. The media attacks are clear, not working, so the recent price campaign has escalated, driving the price 59 to 39 last week, a brief surge back to 49, and today's slow drip to 46.50, then 42.50 at the close. I really think Citadel needs to fire their psych experts. Most retail is holding and bought large amounts in March. Many likely did not sell. No, we did not, sir. A small amount in June. Yes, we did. We didn't sell sh shit. Can I say that? I just did. In June, I did to cover their initial investment. For example, I was long at 960 and sold at 5340. <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. Uh, and sold at 5340, enough to cover my buy-in and show a decent realized gain. My remaining position is a free rider. 
the price could go down to 12 bucks and many holders would not would still be in the money there were 3.2 million retail holders in March remember March it seems like eons ago 3.2 Adam Aaron thank you very much there are likely 5 million now I agree sir there has been no dilution so how are the new buyers finding shares without the price rising considerably all great questions sir we have been asking this for months now the longer Citadel delays this the more the final bill will grow the DTCC has put most of their amendments into effect which we know so one wonders how much free reign will the SEC will give Citadel and the other 22 shorts before strongly worded suggestions become more forcibly made directions I thought in March the situation was a danger to financial stability. At this point, I give up worrying about it as it appears official that Washington has no clue the damage being done. I think they do. Biden, BlackRock. If nothing else, the failures of officials to reign in Citadel, all the while the stock is under huge media spotlight. Well, yes, it is. We just touched on that too, sir. While undermine confidence in the fairness of the market for related participants which in turn will reduce retail activity and hurt longer-term profitability for Citadel. So stop with the games and get on the popping the, get on with popping the cyst. Outstanding words, sir. That's nice to see. You know, it really is. Oh, Peter Hahn. Love you, brother. Thank you, sir. And then listen to this turd real quick, and we're going to get the hell out of here. I got a comment on this. It's one minute long. Listen to this ass bag. News from over the weekend, Disney, uh, the Black Widow uh, Marvel wow. film, uh, they did about $80 billion at the box, domestic box office, $60 billion on Disney Plus using the Premier Access, which which to me, they, they almost did the, the same amount. I thought that's pretty interesting because, uh, it, what, what do you think this says about, though, has, has the pandemic changed uh, the, yes, the, the theater it business? Is it yes. for good? Are we seeing changes for good? I think you are. Um, I loved it. I loved it. It's the convenience of watching it. Um, I do think Disney, uh, this is very smart by Disney, uh, because the movie was so good, and it was only $30. They priced it so, you know, it would have been uh, the same price as a movie theater. If you're taking a family of four, right? it might be a good deal 30 bucks, and I, I think that, that that's a, it's a family picture, uh, but that also, they make so much money in candy. Uh, they charge over charge for your soda. You, I, we had all those things at home. We just had our, we had our uh, Coke Zero. We had our Hershey's Kisses and popcorn. You know, the whole thing, the she bang costs us about three bucks versus 30. Uh, remember, it, everything's overpriced at the movie theater. And th that's where they make the money. And we didn't give it to them. We just watched it at home. Okay. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. This is the second time in the last, what was it, last night I did this, you guys, or the night before, about the, uh, the only thing we can do about the movie theaters is bash their overpriced uh, concessions. AMC has been around for 102 years. The movies have been around since Jesus left Chicago. Jesus left Chicago a long time ago, guys. This is all we got to do, and then we got to praise Disney Plus for their streaming we know what the movie theaters are. Jimmy Kramer, Adam Aaron's your boy for, for decades now here. Say something that makes some sense that we're going to believe. Can you come up with something different, sir? That's just so stupid. The FUD is just absolutely stupid. No one's going to believe this stuff. No one does. No one has. Just mind-blowing. Okay, let's get out of here. One other thing I forgot to touch on. I don't know whose video this on. I've seen this floating around, but now we got these... Uh, Paid shills, bots, whatever you want to call them. These are all BS accounts, right? Now we're calling for AMC 100. Look at this. Hello, my fellow apes. How how do you do? I really think AMC can squeeze to $100. That will be enough money for me to pay off some medical bills and take some time off work to go on vacation. Okay, that is stupid. I agree with Lou versus Wall Street. AMC can go to $100, then we'll dump. So I will be selling all my shares at $98. Okay, Greg. AMC new floor is now $100. Oh, please, the Lord above us. We just want this to end already. These hedge funds are very intelligent people. We should not be greedy and be happy with $100. AMC to 100 with the rocket emoji. Dude, 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 dude. This just gets better by the day. 
if these guys are truly, and I think they are, I know they are, are paying these people to put all this stuff together, can we come up with some, um, you know, uh, on YouTube, maybe go after people that have an established type of an account, maybe without these weird pictures that we can cross-reference and do that Google uh, reverse switch with the photos. I see. We have the ma massive... You know what I love is Detective Joe Kinda. Everybody ever watched that show? We have a ton of Joe Kindas. Uh, millions. Five million, like our boy just told us. 3.2, or at least. But can you... Please, can these guys do something that is believable? Look at this, a hundred bucks. Oh my God, I'm going to vomit. I got to vomit. Okay, that's it, you guys. Oh, hey, I popped this son of a gun in. I found another pretty good little video here. It's about 15 minutes long on the old high frequency trading. Pretty good. I'll pop that in there for you guys if you're bored before we get uh, pre-market firing up. So, yeah, nobody panic. I'm not panicking at all. I, I got a weird feeling. You know me. You Most of you guys that have been around. I'm not the guy and the guy that's going to say, hey, here's a number. Oh, this week's the week. I've never said that. I will never say that. I don't have the foggiest of clues. But by all of this madness that's gone on the last couple of weeks and then these guys hammering down, hammering down, hammering down, now they're stuck to where we're starting to buy everything back or we never really stopped buying. Something feels weird. And I'm excited that this price is dropping because I know no one is selling. They haven't covered a damn thing. The dark pool is getting crazier by the day. And we're winning. Okay, guys, that's it. I'm going to be up uh, till pre-market. So leave me some comments. I'll do some interaction this evening here. Starting to feel a little bit better about the daughter. She's coming over for a four days. So that'll be good for me. But that's it. Sorry for the long video, guys. Uh, go AMC. Buy the dip.